In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the washer fluid reservoir on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. You may have to move this weather strip right here. And then over here, take this 10 millimeter out and then hold the bar while you're taking this one out. just so you don't drop it. Using a 13 millimeter socket, take out the battery hold down bolt. And slide the bolt out and the hold down. Take those off. You can grab the battery. And slide it out. We're gonna take these bolts out. There's three back here, two up front, and two on the side. You're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. Take this out. Take all of those out. With all those bolts out, just grab this plate and slide it off. Using a 10 millimeter socket, there should be a bolt right here. Ours is a little bit rotted away, but using a 10 millimeter socket, you should be able to take it off. Take that bolt out. Disconnect the hose right here, and then that goes and connects to the washer fluid reservoir. Pull, pull that back. Remove the wheel. I'm gonna use a 22 millimeter socket. Take the lug nuts off. the wheel off. Now we're going to remove the inner fender well. I'm just going to use a trim tool. Take these push pins out. Oops. those all out and then you can slide the inner fender well down. There's a couple other push retainers holding on wires so you want to pop those off and there's a clip over here. Pop that off and it slides right up. Before you take the bolt out completely make sure you support the washer reservoir. Just hold it up. And this will slide down. You can see on the other side, you can disconnect some connectors. Right there, right there. And it slides right out. I'm gonna drain the washer fluid out. I'm just gonna drain it in a bucket. Go. We can reuse that. Now take the hose off. Slide that off. Grab the pump. I'm gonna pull it out. Rock it back and forth, and it slides up. Take the pump. We'll slide it into the grommet. Push it down. Lock it in place. And take the hose and line it up like that. And slide this up in position. And connect the connector for the washer pump. And slide this in. bolt 
lined up. And we'll tighten that down. Lower shield, get in position. Take the push pins, line those up, secure those down. If you had any of the retainers holding the wires on, you wanna push those in. Push these push pins in. the wheel on and the lug nuts Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. Now put the bolt in here, get that lined up. Tighten that down. Snug that down. Now this hose, you want to line the hose up. Connect the two ends. Take the battery tray, line it up. Put the bolts in, get those started. And tighten those down. battery up. Take the battery hold down. Put that in position. And put the bolt in. Tighten it down, make sure the battery's not loose. And we'll connect the positive cable first. Snug that down, take the negative cable, line that up. Snug that down, give it a wiggle, make sure it's not loose. Take this rod, Get the bolts lined up. Make sure you don't crush the hose. Tighten that 
tighten these down. Now I'm going to put the wash fluid back in, use a funnel, and if you have new wash fluid, you can use new. But this wash fluid's fine, so we'll just dump it back in. and close the top. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.